Aloha, aloha, aloha. Welcome, welcome, welcome. My name is Master Paul. And I'm so happy to join you today live on the live stream. Today is July 12, 2016. I say that because one of these days I'll be looking back on this video. It'll be somewhere on my YouTube page and I will be wondering, when did I make that video? So I say that for me <laughs> because two or three, four years from now, things could be very different, including the level of wisdom and knowledge that we receive from Dr. Master Shah, as well as the level of power and healing that can be occurring even just a short few years from now. So always things changing. That's one of the wonderful features about working with Dr. Master Shah. There's always an upliftment of the wisdom, the healing, and the insights. So welcome, Sandra. Great to see you. Thank you for joining today's webcast. <clears throat> it's going to be a very powerful and exciting day today. We're focusing on opening the spiritual channels to communicate with heaven, divine Tao source, to be able to communicate with, with all of the holy beings uh, and many, many other souls. Welcome, Johnny. Great to have both of you here with me. More will be coming on as they discover that I have gone live. <clears throat> and so today, as we move more into that, just before I started actually the live stream, I was focused on um, some of the material that was in some of Master Shah's books. And I don't know if you all had a chance to, um, to watch any of Master Shah's uh, live event that was just happening just before this, where he was releasing his new book, Soul Over Matter. Very, very exciting times. Uh, this brings up a whole new arena for us. And there's also a new activity happening for many of those whose heart is of service. They really, really want to be able to serve, and they're not quite sure how to get from here to there. One of the things that uh, Master Shah's organization has been working on for several years now is they've been waiting for the Divine Channel program to reach its completion so that the, the Divine Channels in training could be close to their completion cycle. Then they could start a whole new cycle for um, people that are new. Uh, and so one of the things I'll be talking about today is the opportunity to become a Tao Soul Communicator or a uh, Master Soul Teacher. And there's a substantial difference in the two of them, and we'll talk a little bit about that. But if you've ever wanted to be able to just change a person's life just by teaching them a piece of wisdom that, that they will use forever and it will literally impact the blueprint of their life. That's what a master soul healer teacher can do. And then as far as a Tao soul communicator, that is something we're going to be talking more about today. So we have quite a bit to, uh, to cover, but we're going to start by go ahead and connecting heart to heart, soul to soul as I cross my legs and get myself in a yoga position here, make myself comfortable. I hope you can all hear me well. <clears throat> uh, welcome, Rian. Great to see you pop in there. Aloha, Monica. Da'ai, da'ai. So let us connect heart to heart, soul to soul. We'll place our hands in soul light, soul service, hand position. Close your eyes. You know what I look like. Let's prepare to, to connect heart to heart, soul to soul. Dear beloved divine Tao Source, dear our spiritual teacher and father, Master Shah, to the countless saints, saints, animals, temple, souls, and treasures at Master Shah's Tao Healing Center, Honolulu, in this room where I'm at, the holy beings, the Da'ai calligraphy behind me, and the uh, uh, Daguang Ming calligraphy behind me, we love you, we honor you, respect you, bow down to you. We ask you as appropriate to please offer your greatest light, love, forgiveness, compassion, and blessings to assist all those that watch this live stream, all those that watch this video in the future. Bless all of us to open our heart, open our soul, to connect at the deepest levels possible so that we have great compassion to serve, so that we have the greatest light that people come to us because they know that we have something that can assist them. Please bless us to open our heart, to attract to us that highest, best loving mate that can best serve us. 
or to heal and rejuvenate any relationships that we're in to make them even better than what they currently are. Please bless us to be in an even more forgiving place so that throughout our life we offer and ask for forgiveness for the sole purpose of connecting hearts and hearts, soul to soul. As we chant love, peace, and harmony, please help us to release these blockages and bless us in whatever way is most appropriate. So let us chant together. <coughs> La lu la li, lu la lu la la li, lu la lu la li, lu la lu la li, lu la lu la li, lu la. Oh,我爱我心，哈利，我爱春，哈利，王立荣，哈尔姆斯兄，兄爱平安和谐，兄爱平安和谐。I love my heart and soul. I love all humanity. Join hearts and souls together. Love, peace, and harmony. Love, peace, and harmony. How, 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 thank you, thank you, thank you. Welcome, Yvonne. Welcome, Amy. And welcome, Rianne, if I haven't acknowledged you yet. <clears throat> so very grateful to have everybody here. Uh, there's, I only see about six people's names pop up, even though there's, it looks like 12 people are watching, so I don't know who the rest of you are. I would definitely mention your names if I can tell uh, who you are, but I'm grateful that you've joined us here today. So, what are we going to be talking about today is the soul communication channel. So the soul communication channel, Aloha Christy, is a channel that is one of four major communication channels. Now yesterday we talked about the soul language channel which precedes the ability to receive messages from the soul world. So if you did not watch that, then go to my, um, my Facebook page and click on the About section. It's one of the four or five tabs. And that will take you, if you scroll down a little bit, that'll take you to my videos. Um, and you'll see yesterday's video. And that goes into what is soul language, how do we uh, release it, and a um, little bit of information about the processes to release it. You probably have to be in a center or with a divine channel or with at least an advanced student to release your soul language, but when it comes out, it's quite profound, very healing, very transforming. And what it assists you to do is it assists you to connect to heaven. How is that so? What the soul language channel is, what the soul language translation channel is, is it's a channel that runs through every human's body. And our soul language channels can have blockages in them. Now the channel starts in the Ming Men acupuncture point, which is, for those that aren't familiar with it, it's a point in the dip in the lower part of your back, directly across from the navel. If you drew an invisible line straight from your belly button, straight through to your back, that's where the little dip in your back is. And right there is called the Ming Men acupuncture point. <clears throat> welcome, Kristen. Welcome, Cynthia Marie. Uh, welcome, Pat. Great to have you all here. And so this point is where the... Uh, the soul communication channel begins. It goes up, it goes up um, to the Kun Gong, straight to the Kun Gong in the middle of your body, straight up to the heart center, up through to the top of the head, and then back down to the heart center. So you're actually going through a process where you're receiving the message, it's going through the center of the body, through the heart center, to the brain, which is translating the message, back to the heart for you to speak it out. So those that have watched me for a while, you see me doing what's called soul communication. You'll ask a question, I'll ask 
uh, a soul, one of the, the souls that is most appropriate to answer that question, and then I will flow out the answer. The way that can be accomplished is through uh, opening the soul, the spiritual communication channels. And that's also what the Tao Soul Communicator program is. So I'm going to refresh my computer here, and I'm going to drop in some links for those of you that are not familiar with this. <clears throat> and you can uh, choose to access this or not on your own. But this is a program. It's a two-year program. Okay, so that's in there now. <clears throat> that anyone can attend. And you will learn how to do a short version of what we're going to be doing here today. So the soul language communication, why is it important? Everyone and everything has a soul. And this is a foundational teaching of Dr. and Master Shah. Now let's say you have children. Up until about the age of, of, of at least age one, they're just giving you vague information. They're doing a lot of talking, but it's not making sense. However, they are actually speaking soul language. All children speak soul language. All souls speak soul language. But the ability to actually hear what they are asking for is something that is very, very powerful. Same thing with the pets and animals. We can actually hear much more clearly what it is they're wanting and needing and how we can best serve them. One of the great values of soul language and soul communication is we can connect with heaven. We can connect with our own guides, angels, and saints, or our own soul. And so we do that by releasing the soul language, which is what we discussed yesterday, san san jo lu bai yao wu. Repeat, san san jo lu bai yao wu. Again, san san jo lu bai yao wu. San san jo lu bai yao wu. That's 3396815 for those of you that are new, <clears throat> which is a sound code that releases a vibration in the body, opens up blockages, and therefore the soul language will eventually come out when it's practiced appropriately. No time to go into definitions and, and uh, specifics here. <clears throat> but once the soul language is released, the next step that you would learn, for example, the Tao Soul Communicator program, is that you would ask, Dear my soul language, can you please help me to receive an answer about this question? And so you would ask the question, let's say you asked your soul, Dear my soul, what do I do about this relationship? And then you speak your soul language, until you feel it's time to stop until your soul says finished. <clears throat> and then, this is where the soul communication channel comes in. Dear my soul communication channel, please help me to translate this answer that came through my soul language. And then you go into a silent place to receive. Now a lot of people, when I have taught this before, they want to know, well, how do I know that the message is accurate? How do I know it's not my mind doing it? What can I do to ensure that the message is actually clear, that it's not from my mind, and that I can trust the message that comes out? They might also say, well, I don't hear anything. I wait, but I hear nothing. So both occur. <clears throat> Some people hear things, but they're not sure if it's them. Other people hear nothing. Both are perfect. The question becomes why do some people hear and why do some people go through the processes of hearing nothing? Believe it or not, those that hear nothing are probably the ones that will have the least resistance because where you're at when you're hearing nothing is your mind is not getting in the way of accuracy. You just need to open your heart and trust the information that comes. We have been taught, I was taught, by Master Marilyn and Master Patricia in my early classes. And we are very blessed, all of the students are very blessed that have been trained by them. Master Marilyn uh, received a transmission from Master Shah. And with that transmission, she flowed the entirety of this book called Soul Communication. <clears throat> How do you flow an entire book on a subject that you're not overly familiar with? Yes, she was trained a little bit by Master Shah, 
But I tell you, if you've read this book, if you just open up to any page, it sounds like Master Sha wrote it because his soul is the one that gave her the transmission, the channel through which the information flowed. She had to allow herself to receive pure information and write it out and trust that it was accurate. How did she get to that point? Message center. The channel starts in the Mingmen, goes through the Kungong, up to the message center, through the message center, the heart center, <clears throat> through and up to the top, back down to the heart center. Do you think the message center is important? Why? The message center is the center, it's your karma center. It's your soul communication channel center. It's your soul language center. All of the channels go through the heart chakra. It's your emotional center. It's the center where finances and relationship blockages occur. It's the center for forgiveness, compassion, and light. It's the center that's associated with just about every aspect of anything related to your spiritual journey. So how do we clear this? Because this is directly related to hearing nothing, and it's directly related to, did I hear the right message? Both are true. When we take the time to receive blessings, to remove blockages in the message center. Uh, a good example, right now, Master Shah is offering probably the most extraordinary blessing for the heart that I have seen him offer ever. And it's called a heart field blessing. It is also the lowest honor fee that I've ever seen for the highest blessing that I've ever seen. So that combination is worthy of paying attention to. The lowest honor fee for the highest blessing does not occur every day. Go to his website. You'll see it somewhere on there. It says Heart Field. Register for it. It's in Canadian dollars. So no matter who you are, it's going to be affordable. And what that will do is it will clear lifetimes of blockages in your physical heart and all aspects of the heart center. Lifetime, lifetimes, you would literally have to, when I did a soul reading for myself after I received this blessing, <clears throat> my soul reading for myself was I'd already suffered 112 lifetimes with serious blockages, serving wrong the wrong way, um, serving the, offering the wrong teaching and wisdom and information, breaking people's hearts, vows, you name it. I had all kinds of blockages in there. And I would have had to have served perfect lifetimes, 212 more perfect karma-free lifetimes to clear that on my own. Two million Shen Qi Jing blockages were removed, more than that, vows, all kinds of stuff was removed from one little honor fee and it was less than 200 US. I tell you, don't do anything but run to that and get that for yourself. That that will open up your heart dramatically. It will help you to be a far superior um, reader of information when you're connecting with the soul world. Because this is like, think of, think of a blocked message center. When it comes to communicating with the soul world, you want to think of a blocked message center much like trying to see the sun through clouds. Hard to do. So the information from the sun is coming through bright, crystal clear. By the time it gets to us, we're unable to take it in. We're able to discern the accuracy of the, the, the beauty of that light, the accuracy of the information. Same thing with a blocked message center. So when we open ourselves to take advantage of divine services, such as what Master Shah is offering right now, it is one of the most priceless gifts I could possibly suggest to you. Clearing the message center is what opens up the soul communication channel, the ability to receive the message clearly. Now back to Master Marilyn in this book. When she first started, the first word, and I'm going out of memory, I could be wrong on this, but she heard one word only. And it was either the word I or the word love. And one word. But you know what she said when she heard it? She said, thank you. She didn't say, oh, but that master can, can speak volumes or paragraphs. Oh, but my third eye is not open. She didn't complain. One of the things that a lot of us find ourselves doing is comparing ourselves to others. We find ourselves um, minimizing anything that we receive. We receive one word. We get a, a flash of an image. 
And what happens when we say these kinds of things to ourselves, when we say these kinds of things about ourselves, we're closing our message center. We're disallowing the blessings that we have received that have given us that one word, that have opened our third eye, even for an inkling. Gratitude is the key. <clears throat> With Master Marilyn, you have one of the greatest teachers on the planet. She is one of the purest hearts, and she repeats the same thing again and again and again. And I have to listen to it for eight years, and it just starts to sink in. What does she repeat? Gratitude, gratitude, gratitude. Love, love, love. Pay attention. There's a lot of wisdom in those two simple words. It's not so easy to bring it into every moment in our life, but it allows us to be open to receive the messages from heaven. So when we do this, we open up the spiritual communication channels using the San San Joli Bayawu that we worked on yesterday. And then we place our hands in soul light service position. So go ahead and do this at home. We're going to do a practice first to open our message center. I'm going to ask you a question and you're going to type in the answer that you get. Okay? Because there's no right or wrong. You're just going to practice. Okay? <clears throat> so repeat after me. Dear Divine, dear Tao, dear Source, dear Master Shah, I love you. Can you please come to sit in my heart center, my message center? Bless me to clear blockages, open my message center, that I can receive messages from heaven clearly. Dear all souls, if I or my ancestors have caused you to block your heart center, your message center, through wrong thoughts, wrong words, wrong actions, I sincerely, sincerely apologize. Please forgive me. Finally, dear all my downloads and treasures, I love you. Please turn on. Please gather in my message center. And as I chant, I love you, please clear the blockages. Now, you're not going to chant, I love you for yourself. You're going to chant, I love you for everybody else, all humanity. When you chant to serve others, that's when you get the greatest blessings. Simple secret, just like forgiveness, just like gratitude, but one of the greatest secrets to receiving everything that you want. Whatever you want, offer that request and blessing to others for the exact same thing. Give it to others. You want financial blessings? Chant for financial blessings for others that are in great need. Secret. Write it down. Make a note. Continue to do it. So now we're going to chant, I love you to all humanity. <clears throat> Close your eyes. Place one hand over your heart center, your left hand. Your right palm gently pointed towards heaven. Bring your thought, your mind, and your vision into your message center with greatest golden light and see that golden light showering humanity. Let us begin. I love you. I love you. I love you. I love you, 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 I love you. Send your greatest love to humanity, to Mother Earth. I love you. I love you. I love you. I love you. I love you, I love you, I love you. 
silently continue to chant. <coughs> continue to chant, I love you. Send your greatest love to Mother Earth. Send your greatest love to the seven billion souls. Some of them feel it. They wake up a little. They turn their head. They lift their eyes from the tears that they're experiencing and they feel your love. The children feel your love. I love you. 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 Open your hearts wider. I love you, 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 I I love you, I love you. Keep your eyes closed, continue to chant. I will give you a message. And as you are chanting, <coughs> you will ask yourself the question that I will give you. And then you wait for the answer. And when you receive the answer from the soul world, then you write the answer. The question is, Dear God, why do you love me? Dear God, why do you love me? Receive the answer. I will chant for you now. I love you, I love you, I love you, I love you, I love you. I love you, I love you, I love you, I love you, I love you. Share your answer. I love you. I love you. I love you. I love you. I love you.
how many of you have opened your heart more from this practice? How many of you are paying attention to God's message right now? The question is, dear God, why do you love me? What is God's answer? If there is no words, what is the feeling? What is the image? What is the emotion? Welcome to those who have just come in. There are some beautiful sharings, beautiful, beautiful sharing. God loves us unconditionally. We, we are the ones that are separate from God. God is never far from us. We are far from God. The blockages are in the heart center. Receive the blessings. Heaven has been with us this whole time. The minute I started this blessing, you should have seen how many saints came. There were so many holy beings. We're in the temple right now. I'm in the Honolulu temple. I tell you, you're getting one of the hugest blessings right now. Just receiving. Oh, such incredible, beautiful sharing. So, which one of you, at the beginning of this, said, I don't have open spiritual channels. I never hear anything. I wish my channels were more open, like the Master's. You see, your channels are open. What's the key? open message center that has always been the key it will be the key for everything the entirety of your life spend the two hundred dollars that master shah is offering for the heart field blessing it's on his website now i am shocked that he left it open for an additional week it is the most uh, generous offer it comes with light wall protection so after he clears hundreds of lifetimes of, of blockages and vows and you, you having trouble with relationship you having trouble with love get the blessing my goodness do you realize how many vows are going to be removed how many self-love blockages are going to be removed do you have any idea how many self-worth block worthlessness i don't know if i'm good enough all of those blockages will be removed i don't i, don't, I want to say all of them but a, a dramatic amount that will allow you to love yourself the way God loves you, with the message that God has given you. Look at your message that you've received. Very loving, very, very uh, compassionate messages from the divine. <clears throat> These messages are not fake. They're not false. They're real and authentic messages. And it's always coming to you. 100% of the time, the divine surrounds you with the same love that you're feeling momentarily with this one message you receive from him that is happening to you in every second of every day. Every second of every day. That is always surrounding you. And all that requires to bathe in that is opening your message center more. So now I will offer you a transmission to help us to open the message center more from Master Shah's book. Give me a moment to locate it. <clears throat> Dear Master Shah, I love you, honor you, and appreciate you. Could you please offer this blessing, this transmission through this book, 
through the order, blessings you have given through me. Dao order to everybody watching this live stream, and if it is appropriate, Dao decides to all those that watch this video later. Dao order, Dao song of Dao love, com forgiveness, compassion, and light, soul, mind, body transplants. Transmission. Dao order. Join Dao song of Dao love, forgiveness, compassion, and light. So my body transplants as one. Transmission. Hey ya hey ya hey ya hey ya yo yo yo. Ha ha ha. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Now you have just received a Dao song of Dao love, forgiveness, compassion, and light. So we're gonna chant. Thou love, forgiveness, compassion, and light. Thou love, forgiveness, compassion, and light. Chant with me. Keep your eyes closed. Feel your message center releasing. Thou love, forgiveness, compassion, and light. 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 Choose one area of your life that you want blockages cleared in. Is it relationship? Is it finances? Is it a new job? Is it with the husband, the wife, the children? Is it a health issue? Choose one specific area. <clears throat> now, remember, you're going to offer the blessing to others with this blockage. Repeat, dear all my downloads and treasures, dear my Tao song of Tao love, forgiveness, compassion, and light, I love you. Please offer your greatest blessings to all those that are in need of, and you state the blessing that you were in need of, as appropriate. And when you chant, serve them. Thou love, forgiveness, compassion, and light. Thou love, forgiveness, compassion, and light. See, it's a, it's a dance song. Jump up, dance. Thou, I can't do that. I have to stay here. But I'll move. Thou love, forgiveness, compassion, and light. Thou love, forgiveness, compassion, and light. Dance. Thou love, forgiveness, compassion, and light. 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 Remember, you're serving others. Send your greatest love. Thou love, forgiveness, compassion, and light. 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 Hey, thou love, forgiveness, compassion, and light. 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 Now, if you are dancing, return. Stay in a relaxed space. 
you're going to do another flow. You're going to ask, Dear God, can you please tell me the value of this service for the others? Can you please tell me the value of this service that I just did, the one that you just did, for others? Receive the message. Compassion and light, thou love, forgive miscompassion 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 and light, thou love, forgive miscompassion. Passion and light, thou love, forgiveness, passion and light. <coughs> Excuse me. Relax and receive the message. Could be one word. It could be a sentence. It could be a lot more. We have Kristen says the answer to her was that the others received flowers. What are flowers? Flowers is heaven's virtue to transform the blockages. Yvonne received happy, love, grateful, forgiveness, and released. Oh, huge. Johnny received love and peace. Whatever they received is what you received at least tenfold. Whatever they received is what you received at least tenfold. Why? It's deeper than just the obvious. I'm going to do a flow for you all <clears throat> as to why when we chant for others there is so much greater benefit. I'm just going to wait just another minute for everyone to report their experience. Christy says, relax and release. Trust. Good. Crystal says, light and happiness. Kristen Rojas says, offering unconditional love and service to others offers virtue to all those souls and to your own soul. Yes. So, dear God, can you please borrow my mouth? Can you please share for all those that are watching this right now and in this video in the future, what is the value of always offering the blessings for others when we ourselves are going through suffering? Thank you. My beloved ones, this is the divine. You all are so special in my heart. Each one of you is like the most beautiful flower growing in the endless field of flowers on my body. To forsake any flower that is of me is of the highest disregard for 
all souls. The biggest separation that has been propagated on this earth is the belief of separation from me. Look at the photograph next to you. The loved ones that are with you in that picture. Do you think they are your only family? All humans are your family. No different than your husband, son, daughter, mother, and father. Would you serve your son less than your father? Would you serve your mother less than your sister? That would be unthinkable. And yet, daily, we separate ourselves in this way from your brothers and sisters known as humanity. When you unconditionally serve others, with your purest heart. The healing that occurs for you is truly beyond your comprehension. Why? Because in those moments you are activating the highest truth. What is the highest truth? Oneness. And in the validation of that oneness, selflessness, you are becoming one with me. It is the becoming one with me that creates your healing, transformation, and release of the suffering. I know what your suffering is. It is when you align serving others as I do unconditionally that you become one with me and therefore heal. It is truly that simple. I hope this message is well received, acted upon, taught, and never forgotten. This is the divine. Ha. Ha, ha, thank you, thank you, thank you, Devout Divine. <sighs> thank you, thank you, thank you for that incredible message. <clears throat> wow. What a great message. Thank you, beloved Kristen Rojas, for your incredible service of writing those flows down. Give me a chance to, to use them again, see them again, and, and share them in my blogs. Um, so, Everybody, please share what has been your experience. Uh, what mindsets, attitudes, and beliefs did you get shifted today? You did two flows. Some of you, I'm sure, didn't think that you could receive information from heaven. And you did. And the information was very accurate. Why? Because your heart was open. An open message center is the ability to receive messages from heaven. It is the disallowing of the message center to close, the awareness of what closes the message center, the vigilance 
to keep it open as much as possible. This is the value of the wisdom and teachings of Dr. and Master Shah, because he gives us things like the source soul song of love, peace, and harmony. If you're not playing it in all of your environments, home, work, everywhere you're at, then you're not allowing your heart to remain open. The, every time that song is playing, you are clearing karma. Every moment that song is playing, you are avoiding making new karma because it's not allowing karma to activate. You're in a field that disallows the karma to activate. So that's just one example of, of, of supporting yourself to, to not suffer. When you chant love, peace, and harmony, are you chanting to serve others for the area of your suffering? You can actually chant to serve others for any reason, but sometimes we're so, we're so blocked in ours that it just helps us to chant specifically to serve others for the blockage area that we have. Regardless, it will create beyond special benefits, especially when you unconditionally do it. Remember always to ask for forgiveness, especially before chanting for others, because it is in the forgiveness, the asking for and offering of forgiveness, that our heart becomes substantially more open. It's like washing the car and not waxing it. You know, it'll look clean, but it won't look glossy. When we take the time to ask for forgiveness authentically, all of a sudden, all of our work on cleaning up the car looks a whole lot better, feels a whole lot better, and lasts a lot, lot, lot longer. So we want to make sure we always ask for forgiveness, especially before doing anything related to uh, uh, something where we want to clear our own blockages, but we turn to offer to others. Um, <clears throat> it's truly not overly necessary to know the specifics of why our blockages are. If we see that we have a relationship blockage, we offer blessings for relationship in the areas that are showing up in our life. We don't need to know who we hurt or why. That's just, you know, digging up the mud. Um, sometimes it helps if, we, if, if we've done things and we want to go a little bit deeper to make sure we clear out the roots, you know, completely. But really, We've probably harmed quite a few people in relationship, not just one or two. So the value in doing this is, is, is in the, the wisdom that is made available to us. We are surrounded with so many blessings, so many abilities. Now I want to give you one more very important message. I cannot tell you how important this one is. Um, I know that some of you, the heart, the heart um, blessing is, is just too much. You know, so it, it, it was a stretch for me too, but you know, I did it because it's just, I understand. And I trust that the divine will return it. But most of us can afford 16 to $20. Today in Master Shaw's book release, he said, anybody that goes to Amazon, specifically Amazon, buys a book, one book, two books, no limit, as many books as you want. On Sunday and the following Sunday, he will put into the Da'ai calligraphy, what is Da'ai, the greatest love, the highest calligraphy, period, because love melts everything. He will put the Dao source jindan into that calligraphy. Now, this is a creator jindan. It basically means whatever you want to change in your life, you go to that calligraphy, you ask the treasure that has been put in that calligraphy to bless you, and you trace the calligraphy. If you do the work, one hour a day minimum, there's literally nothing in your life that can't be dramatically shifted. Now, people don't grasp why this is a $500 to $1,000 value treasure. It's the highest and it's in a calligraphy. The combination together, it's like owning one of Master Shah's calligraphy that he just did for you. That's the power of this. People have trouble understanding that he would just do that for a $16 book, a $20 book. Why? Because that's his generosity. His mission on earth is to transform all souls in all universes. He cannot do that unless there is more light brought to earth. It's impossible unless more light comes to earth. So he's going to bring that light in the form of this book. And then when you use it to transform your blockages, more light comes to earth. So he's doing it for a much larger cause. Obviously, it's not about the money. Do everything you can to get the heart blessing and get a book. But if all you can do is get a book, get one, two, three, four, one for every loved one that you have. 
Um, and don't freak out if you don't get the books quickly. The bookseller is already sold out. They, they sold everything that they had in stock. Not the, the, the people that make the book are sold out. So they're in the process of ordering more. So it might take a week or two to get it. Don't worry about it. He's aware of it. You will absolutely get the blessing. Don't worry about that. But go get as many books as you can afford and don't just give them to any Joe without letting them know very clearly the value of that book. Let them know that the blessing that's been put into that Da'ai calligraphy and that new Soul Over Matter book that you just bought from Amazon for $20 is worth a thousand minimum. And all they have to do is put themselves in front of it, ask for blessings. What's the secret? Do it for other people. You have this power source in front of you. You can serve humanity with it. Go back and listen to my flow. Go back and listen to the divine's flow on why. I got, I, I got to go back and listen to it. That was just amazing. I, I really have to go back and listen to what was said because that was so pure, that message. Maybe I'll just put it on the front of my website. It's so pure. Um, and when you get that calligraphy, trace. Do it for others. I would be shocked if you didn't have massive transformation in your life for whatever the blockage area is. There's just too much power that'll be put into that calligraphy when you get that book. So Allison, I see you just tuned in. Make sure you come back and watch the whole thing. But go to Amazon.com, buy the new book, Soul Over Matter, about 20 bucks. Just get one if that's all you can afford. Buy as many as you can. Master Shah will transmit power to it on one of these coming Sundays. And uh, just trace the calligraphy. You'll have tremendous results. So. I will go back and look at all of your responses afterwards. I deeply apologize. I'm running out of time. And as you know, Facebook cuts off when we least expect it. I love Facebook. I'm so grateful for the live stream. I'm grateful for the free aspects of it. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Facebook. But I don't want to, uh, to not say thank you, thank you, thank you, and love you all so very much. So tomorrow, we're going to be doing practice around the third eye. So I know that's going to be very popular. Make sure you tell your friends. We're going to be doing practices, blessings around that, teaching some wisdom. Um, do pay attention to a post I made. It's probably one of the first or fourth or fifth posts. I don't know where it's at underneath this video where I put in links where you can register for the Tao Source Communication Program and the Soul Miracle uh, teacher program. This is just to see if you're approved. No commitments. Just to see if you're approved. Okay. These programs will start in the next couple of weeks. So don't dilly dally around with them. You'll only get one chance every two years. Um, so you won't see this come around for two more years. They have structured programs where you can step in, not too much, and you pay like quarterly, kind of like school. So it's not too bad. Uh, do take a look at it. I can tell you from experience. The flow you just heard that the divine spoke through me, not possible three or four years ago. Not even remotely possible. Okay, uh, It was through the program that, that they're talking about now that you can have that kind of soul communication directly with God, Tao, Source, with your soul, with, with your pets, with anyone you want to communicate. That's because of the Tao Source Communicator program. If you just want to change people's lives, through the wisdom that Master Shah has. Become one of the teachers. It's not about healing. Maybe you're just not comfortable with that part of it. You just want to change people's lives with the wisdom. You want to be one of the teacher programs. But if you join both of them, there's some additional discounts. Please check into it. Um, I'm happy to serve you to understand more. If you have questions around it, you can almost got cut off there. So you can, uh, I will be happy to pull out an additional sheet of paper I have with all the specific information. It's also on SPI, which is Soul Power Institute. Um, just type in Soul Power Institute in Google. It'll take you straight to Dr. Shaw's um, education page and you can see more information there as well. I love you, love you, love you. I thank you, thank you, thank you. We thank Divine Tao Source, the countless holy beings in Master Shaw's temple, all the saints in the calligraphies, the, all the holy beings that came, Master Shah's blessings in the book, the soul of the transmissions you just received, of course, our beloved spiritual father, Master Shah, and his original soul. Love you, love you, love you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. See you tomorrow. Third eye, bring as many people as you can. 
，拜拜。